Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Modern Modiste. Um, it's November, which means it's officially sweatshirt weather. So today I'm just going to be taking some of my sweatshirts. And by some, I mean two. Sweatshirts that are just super plain and spice them up just a little bit and make them more cute. So the first sweatshirt upcycle I'm doing is going to be inspired by this bandana sleeve sweatshirt I've seen on Pinterest. That's the red and blue sleeve. So I have this gray sweatshirt which is a little oversized. And I went to Hobby Lobby and I got two bandanas. Um, this was two dollars because it has like an acid wash look to it. And I got this one for 99 cents. They're the same size. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sweatshirt and I'm going to mark where I want to cut it, I might like a little bit lower, that's pretty high. Mark where I want to cut it. I'm also going to take off the sleeves, take in the sides, and attach my sleeves. So I cut the sweater where I marked it. Then I used this pattern I created tracing a shirt I have to take in the sides and the sleeves. I left a little space at the center front for a roomier fit. I traced out the pattern, then cut on the lines I marked. Then I folded the bandana in half around the sleeve and marked the angle I wanted to cut the bottom part of the sleeve on. I cut the line I marked on both sleeves. I cut off this extra piece from the sleeve so that the sleeve's curves would match the length of the armhole. Then I traced the sleeve onto my bandana. If you want your sleeves to be warm like sweatshirt sleeves, you can sew the bandana sleeve to the sweatshirt sleeve. I decided not to do that though. Next, I cut the other bandana to match. You can seam rip the side seams here, but I decided to cut the side seams off of the cuffs right here to open them. Then I pinned my bandana to the sweatshirt cuff portion of the sleeves. And then I sold everything together. Next, I pinned my sleeve to the armhole, right sides facing, and sold it to my sweatshirt. I repeated with the other sleeve and finished the raw edges as well. To finish the sweatshirt, I pinned the armholes together at the armpit and sewed the sides of the sleeves and the sides closed and finished my raw edges. So I love the way this sweatshirt turned out. I think it's super cute. If I could do anything different, I just make the arms maybe a little bit bigger. These fit comfortably like a shirt would though. And you know, sweatshirts are usually roomier. So I went and made the sleeves bigger. Hobby Lobby didn't have the stonewash burgundy bandana I used initially. So I got the red stonewash and a regular burgundy one and extended the armhole. 
I cut off the sweatshirt sleeves. I cut off the sweatshirt sleeve cuff parts again. Then I traced out bigger sleeves and seam ripped those cuffs back open and pinned it and sold them to the bandana sleeves. And now I'm going to get onto my second sweatshirt refashion. I have this blue oversized sweatshirt. First I'm going to mark how long I want the shirt to be. And I'm going to mark it down because I don't know if I want to hem it yet or not. So I'm going to mark it here. I can always shorten it some more. So I cut the sweatshirt where I marked it. Then I marked in the armhole and the side and I cut along that line I marked. I decided to use the extra flannel I didn't use in my patchwork style flannel dress I made for the sleeves so I cut the sleeves off of that flannel. Then I decided to reshape my armholes. I turned the sweatshirt so that the right sides were facing and sewed the sides closed. I wanted to do half off camera just to figure out what order and process I was going to do to create the look I was going for. And this is the look I'm going for, a dramatic tie sleeve. I need to do it here and I'm going to show you on this sleeve how I did it. This is my inspiration, just the look of a button up shirt mixed with the sweatshirt. I like that combo and the tie sleeves. I cut the sleeve cuff off about two inches above the sleeve cuff. I seam ripped the button off the cuff placket. Then I cut my sleeve open along the top edge of the sleeve. Those pieces of fabric I moved are going to be the bottom of the sleeve and the tie, but now I'm going to extend the width of the sleeve. So to do this, I'm going to sew this piece of fabric I cut to widen the sleeve to the sleeve by sewing the two wrong sides facing and then fold in the seam and sew them right sides facing to create a French seam on this side. For the two remaining sides, I'm going to fold the edge to the wrong side of the sleeve and sew on each of these sides. Then I'm going to sew these two edges together right sides facing, leaving about 5 inches at the bottom not sewn together. And I top stitched each side down and this is the result. There's my fringe seam and the little slit I left open. Next, I cut this fabric for the bottom part of the sleeve about 5 inches longer than my wrist measurement by about 5 inches. Then I hemmed the two short sides in the bottom edge. I increased my stitch length and sewed a basting stitch along the top edge, back stitching at the beginning of the stitch but not at the end to gather this edge. And then I sewed a basting stitch to the bottom of the sleeve's edge as well. Then I gathered these edges so that they were the length of my wrist and pinned these together, wrong sides facing, since the seam will be hidden by the wristband. I sewed them together, then folded in the edges of the tie and sewed it in half. I 
pinned the sleeve tie to my sleeve with the seam center beneath the sleeve tie. Then sew the sleeve tie onto the sleeve. Next I sewed the basting stitch along the top edge of the sleeve to gather it until the sleeve was the width of my armhole. Then I pinned the sleeve to the armhole and sewed the sleeve onto the armhole. To finish the sweatshirt, I zigzag stitched the bottom edge of the sweatshirt's raw edge, then folded the raw edge to the inside of the shirt and sewed in place to hem the sweatshirt. And that completes this project. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and just stay tuned for my next video. Bye!